Hello everyone, it's me Luz Contoy and today I'm going to show you how to do a transition it's sometimes called slide or push transition so let me show you an example before we start okay so let me explain briefly what's going on we have first clip we have some shakes and then at this point the first clip will be pushed to the right by the white clip the clip on the left and you can see there is some motion blur and in the end of the transition there will be some shakes so that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today so let's start a new project okay and let's look for two clips mm, something you need to put into consideration once uh, while doing this is that you need to find two clips uh, two clips that have similar color it will look better you can do it either way but I prefer if the colors were close to each other so we will need two video tracks so right click at this space insert video track and another one and now um, let's take this part um, some motion so it will look nicer okay press tab to import the video only without the audio and place it on the upper video track and we look for another clip which has similar coloring mm, maybe here okay I think it's good okay we drag it we drop it on the lower layer video track now we need to have some overlapped area between the two clips so the longer the overlapped area is the slower our transition and the smoother so for this tutorial we need like 10 frames will be enough you can see you can see the count here the length between this point and this point so we drag this one until here and you notice that we have subtitles we need to get rid of them and uh, how to do that simply come to the crop pen tool press on this keyframe the first one not here because uh, it's not gonna do it and you need to keep this one checked and this one and that's it and now we need to drag this note until our subtitles are outside our rectangle if we copy this keyframe and come over here and paste it on the first keyframe now we can do something additional thing uh, make sure those two are checked and zoom in a little bit just a little bit. okay fine and we do the same here okay that's it you will know why we did that later on so now we need to split our we don't need to but I prefer to do it this way because it's much faster in my opinion so press S to split where, where your pointer is S and now you place your pointer right here at the end of at the end of the overlap area and press S make sure that you are checking the right clip uh, you are make sure that you are selecting the right clip once you split okay so we can control each one of those individually now so now we'll start the real thing if we come over here to the event pan crop tool and move to the last keyframe make sure this one is is set to move in, in x only so it means that it will prevent any 
vertical motion you come over here to the last keyframe and why either you you take it all the way to the left or all the way to the right now we'll take it to the left and this will set what direction your push will happen so what happened now exactly is that this rectangular represents what part of your video is displayed once we have added this keyframe sony vegas is going to interpolate the position of our of this rectangular and move it outside our clip and if you notice here that this clip is leaving it's going to the right and now we have to do the same thing to the second clip but for this time since this one was in the middle and has been pushed to the left we will we will push the second clip in the same direction other way it will not work out so if we we if we double click here we're gonna add a, a new keyframe which has the same value as this one we delete it uh, or no need to delete it okay now if we place this one to the right you will see that it's going it's coming it will come from the right and will will go all the way to the left if we preview it now you will see how it looks like by the way, you can you can also use a third-party plugin called uh, New Blue. I'm not sure which package, but the problem is that many people use it. So if you want to be special, if you want to be unique, you must do your own one. Now, what we need to do is make it look more natural way. If you notice here that our motion speed is constant, we can change that. If you select this keyframe, press and hold control and select this keyframe, then right click and change the mode to smooth. Now what will happen is that the motion will start from initially from, from here, then it will start to speed up and in the middle it will reach the peak of its speed, then it will slow down, which makes it look more natural. We do the same thing for this one, select both keyframes, smooth, okay. maybe you will not notice the difference here, but if you try to render both of them, once with the smooth keyframes, one with linear keyframes, you will notice the difference. The next thing is that we need to add some motion blur, since our motion is in one direction, we can use linear blur, press ok and we applied it to our first clip so here is how it looks like you can control two things using this linear blur effect you can control the angle and you can control the amount of the blur okay now we set it to 0.1 now we need to animate our value the first clip we needed to start it from double click here to add a keyframe we need to start it with zero blur and let it end with 150 so the value of the our blur will change from from the initial value to the final value and we can add some smooth fade it's the same thing that we have applied to our keyframes in here you will see that it was not blurry then the blur start to come in gradually and we do the same thing to this one but with opposite values linear blur let us start with uh, let's set 150 and by the way we set the angle to zero because our motion is horizontally if our motion was vertically we need to set it to 90 or 1 270 okay we add let it start with let it start with 0 0.15 and end with 0 usually the motion blur looks, makes it look much nicer oh, I just remembered yesterday I had an, a midterm <laughs> it was kind of funny because uh, I didn't have enough time to study it well 
so I've mastered one chapter and the second chapter was not that good so the midterm or any exam is supposed to test your knowledge but I felt like it was testing my my imagination because <laughs> I had to to create many many equations just to fill it and I think it's fine maybe I created some theories but unfortunately no one appreciates that anyway let's come back here now we can add one more thing which is the shakes and how to do that now we come to this part which we has not split press on the event propan tool and, and, and you can see now how important this tool is I prefer to do it this way start from the last keyframe just uh, and make sure that it's set to move it freely you can move it in x and y directions go to the last keyframe just move a little bit then press left uh, select the keyframe go one step to the left by pressing the left arrow and move it a little more and then select the keyframe move to frames move it a little bit maybe with some tension just a little bit and then move four keyframes some motion then eight I think that's it now you will see that we added some shakes to our footage which will make it look nicer before the transition because your footage will be static if you move suddenly it will not look nice so you you can just add some shakes before the, the transition and we just do the same thing here we go to the crop pen tool some motion one and just a little bit two don't move that much because it will look like really fast and if you didn't like the the product you can just redo it easily you can delete these keyframes press delete and all of them will be deleted I think now it looks cool. Here. Wow, awesome. So now we are done. I'm going to give you some tips now. If you want if you want your clip your clips to move to the left instead of the right, you can just change that these directions the where, where it's coming from make sure it's moving in y in x-ray only if you start this one from here and let this one end the other way the direction of our push or slide will change to the op opposite direction and I guess that you guys can can figure out how to do the vertical slide or vertical push transition instead of moving this rectangular to the right and the left you can you just move it move it upward and downward and apply the same thing here and you will need to change the angle of your transition to 90 or 270 so maybe you have noticed that I uh, uh, this uh, transition does not look like the one I use in my videos and the reason why is I use Adobe After Effects because they have better tools and I prefer to, to do it there then I re-import it right here and I'm going to do a tutorial about that once I start doing After Effects tutorials so so far in this tutorial you have learned how to do the slide transition at the motion blur and uh, add some shakes so you can find your own way of doing them and try not to copy me find your own way build on what I have taught you today maybe you can do it in nicer way than this so that's it I hope uh, it, uh, this tutorial was useful and as always show me what you have tried it's Milus Control peace <laughs>